Every day, we rise, challenging ourselves to work for what we believe in. At U.S. Border Patrol, protecting our borders is more than a job. It's a calling. Agents answer the call, working together to keep our country and communities safe. If you are ready for a new mission, join U.S. Border Patrol and go beyond. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. What if you could have a career where the opportunities are as vast as our nation, where it's not about mission statements, but a shared mission? At U.S. Customs and Border Protection, we go beyond to protect more than borders, from ship to shore, air to ground, cities to local communities. CBP agents and officers are keeping people safe. Join U.S. Customs and Border Protection and go beyond for something far greater than yourself. Learn more at cbp.gov slash careers. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. As we left Jungle Jim Bradley and his friend Peter Hawkins last week, their caravan was crossing a great plain headed toward Dumba Pass, which would lead them into the territory where they hoped to find Ronnie, Hawkins' shell-shocked son. As they approached the pass, their caravan was attacked by a great tiger. Ahead of them in the pass, Bhutan and his men waited to ambush Jungle Jim's safari. Bhutan saw the caravan halt, and fearing that the stop might mean that Bradley was changing his course, sent a band of the Tiger's Claw killers headed by a mysterious white man known as the Devil Sob to cut off escape through a smaller pass. Nearby, other events were taking place. Myra Trent, the medical missionary, was flying into the jungle to warn Jim of the Tiger's Claw. As she passed over Bhutan's men, her plane was fired upon and hit. Further away in the village, Shanghai Lil waited at the edge of the jungle and by pretending to be injured, succeeded in making contact with a Dr. Carstairs, a British secret agent posing as a missionary. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. <laughs> And now we continue our story. Unaware that a band of armed men belonging to the Society of the Tiger's Claw wait to ambush him, Jungle Jim leads his caravan toward the entrance to Dumba Pass. Surely, if my son Ronnie was around this section of the country, we'd have discovered some trace of him by now, Governor. Mm, don't forget, Peter, India is a big country. Well, yeah, I know, but it seems like we should have heard some word. Yes, but we can't get the natives to talk. The Tiger's Claw has them terrorized. Yes. Now there's a chance. But if we get through Doomba Pass ahead of Bhutan, we can get the information we want before he scares the natives into silence. You know, I have a feeling you suspect something, Governor. I've seen you've been watching that pass through them glasses pretty sharp. I'll confess that I am suspicious, Peter. Uh, I have been ever since that tiger appeared in front of us. A pass is a dangerous place, and I... Say! What's up? Do you see something? Something flashed in the sun. Uh Uh-huh. Just what I was afraid of. What is it, Governor? There's a band of natives waiting for us in the pass. Okay. It's an ambush. Boy, it's lucky for us I saw the sun flashing off their weapons. Blimey, what are we going to do? I don't know yet, Peter. Colo! Colo, stop! Yes, it's fine. Colo! Governor, uh, do you think they'll come out here and attack us? Not a chance, Peter. That would bring them into the open where there'd be easy targets. Now, let me look at this map. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Well, that looks as if it might be another pass off there to the right. Well, can you make it out? Yes, there's another pass there, no doubt about it. It's a small one, though. Tell you what we'll do, Peter. We'll abandon this trail and bear to the right. If they attack us then, they'll have to cross open ground. Right. Kolu, turn to the right and go through the smaller pass over there. This is one. A blinking clever move of yours, Governor. If Bhutan starts an attack, he'll get more than he's bargained for this time, Peter. Meanwhile, far ahead, Myra Trent's pilot fights desperately to keep her disabled plane in the air. They've been coming down in a long glide in a vain attempt to find a safe landing place. Passing safety fence, men, sir. 
We cannot stay up longer. But we can't land. There's no place. We crash in trees. Hold tight. Oh! Oh! Oh, you are hurt. Let me help you. It no use. Save self. I'm all right. You you not understand, Memsab. Tiger's claw. Go. Uh, but I can't leave you here. Where's the nearest village? Go, Memsab. Raise your head. There. Now you'll be more comfortable. I think that was Jungle Jim Bradley's caravan that we flew over. It was. They'll come up the path. Help will be here soon. No, men, Sam. Bradley Sab never come. You not wait. Bradley Sab dies. Jungle Jim dies? What do you mean? Tiger's claw kill. No. Men, Sam, go. Save self. You're, you're delirious. You don't know what you're talking about. Men, Sam, look in tunic, round neck. A tiger's claw? Yes, men, Sam. I also serve master. You're a member of Bhutan society? True, true. Oh. You listen. Bhutan, wait for Bradley Saab in pass. All will be killed. No. Go. Go. Uh. But I must warn Jungle Jim. Too late. Go. Find village. Go back. Go back to Mandalay. No. Save self. Tell me. How far back are Bhutan's men? Go. Go. Don't you understand? I've got to go back and warn Jungle Jim. He dies. No. Go, Mensa. No. Go. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, I must warn Jungle Jim. I must. <laughs> Back in the native village, Shanghai Lil, unaware of the danger that Jungle Jim is facing a few miles north, talks with Carstairs, the British Secret Service agent who poses as a medical missionary. Yes, Dr. Carstairs. I'm Lily DeVriel of the Chinese Secret Service. Well, you certainly fooled me. <laughs> what brings you here? Perhaps if you'll look at my credentials, you'll understand, Doc. Oh, yes, to be sure. The Chinese government is working with your government to break up the smuggling ring supposedly headed by Prince Bhutan. But how in the world did you ever find me? Even Scott doesn't know that I'm here. Colonel Scott told me that you were somewhere in the foothills of Upper Burma, posing as a missionary, and he ordered me to report to you. I see. After you've worked with Shanghai Lil for a while, you'll find that it isn't necessary to draw blueprints. Uh, so it seems. I get what I'm after, Dr. Carr says. I must say, young lady, I admire your courage. Hmm. I've been admired before, Doc. Let's get down to business. Yes, I suppose uh, it might be as well. Let's have a look at this map of Burma. Now, here to the north of us is Dumba Pass. The territory of the Tiger Claw starts there. And that's where my work starts. You find it difficult to get into that country, Mr. Reel? Don't worry about me. I'll find a way. How much do you know about Prince Bhutan? Only that he heads the most dreaded secret society in India, the Tiger's Claw, and that he's extended his reign until he's made virtual slaves of all the natives. Well, you certainly have an amazing fund of information, Dr. Carr says. We found all that out back in Mandalay. I don't think you quite realize what you're up against, Mr. Reel. It's impossible to get any information from the natives. I have my own methods, Doc. Now, have you heard of a white man named... Jungle Jim Bradley coming into this part of the country? No, never. Well, he's here, I'm sure of that. And is this Bradley another agent sent in by Colonel Scott? No, he's here on his own business. He's looking for a shell shocked Englishman who's been reported seen in this territory. Shell shocked Englishman, eh? Yes. I've heard of him. You have? Well, what do you know about him? Only that there's something mysterious about the man. The natives are afraid of him, and they believe that in some way he's tied up with Bhutan. That's why Bhutan opposes Jungle Jim. You say that Bhutan opposes him? He's sworn that Jungle Jim Bradley will never get into Upper Burma. Hmm. I wonder if what happened here last night has any bearing on your friend. Oh, now, don't get me wrong, Doc. I didn't say that Jungle Jim Bradley was my friend. No? But I would be interested in knowing what happened here. There was some disturbance. A mysterious native was caught spying, I believe. You believe? 
Didn't you find out what was going on? I kept my hut last night, Mr. Reel. You see, Bhutan was also here. And so you didn't want to risk your precious neck. Quite. What about this native? Was he caught by Bhutan? He was captured and questioned and then sent back to his master with a poisoned arrow in his back. Oh. I had hoped to find out more about the occurrence this morning. And did you? This morning, the village was deserted, Mr. Reel. Something is happening in Dumba Pass. I've only fragmentary information from the few natives left, but I think that some caravan is to be ambushed. Probably as a part of Bhutan's smuggling operation. Smuggling operations, my foot. Can't you put two and two together? Mr. Vreel, I don't like your tone. Oh, no? Well, that's too bad. I've told you that Bhutan has sworn to kill Jungle Jim Bradley, and that Bradley is somewhere in this territory. Now, who else would send a spy into Bhutan's camp? I haven't the vaguest idea. I think that it's Jungle Jim Bradley's party that's being ambushed. I don't see what we can do. We're helpless. Well, you may be helpless, but I'm not. I'm going to do something. <laughs> In the hills at the edge of the plain, the cruel eyes of Bhutan watched Jungle Jim's caravan change its course and head toward the smaller pass where the band of killers under the command of the white devil sod lie in wait. So, Jungle Jim Bradley, you are clever, eh? He turns to the right, master. The white devil sod will greet him. <laughs> so will we. To your horses. We will take the shortcut. Hiya, now. What? We are ready, Master. March! Bradley thinks to escape us. He will learn that there is no escape from the tiger's claw. He was warned, Master. Perhaps by one of our men? Perhaps. If so, that man will pay. Those who betray me do so but once. We will question the men when we have finished our task. But the one who warned Jungle Jim must have crossed the plain. We saw no one. It does not matter. There is no escape. You will take Bradley prisoner, Master? Live prisoners have been known to escape and talk. Dead men, never. Jungle Jim has interfered where he was not wanted. He has seen fit to ignore my warnings. He must die. It shall be as you wish. I will go to the high place on the rocks. You and your men will close the entrance to the pass. As soon as Bradley and his caravan is within, find the devil sob and tell him that I have taken command. The signal for the attack will be a rifle shot. It will be done. Good. There is to be no failure. We will leave the horses here. Halt! Master, already Bradley Sibes' caravan enters the pass. Do as I have told you. At once. You will hear my voice from these rocks. Remember, failure means death. We will not fail, Master. <laughs> now, Jungle Jim Bradley... You will hear a voice you do not expect. Ah, there he comes. The tiger's claw bids you welcome, Jungle Jim Bradley. Bhutan, where are you? <laughs> if it's a fight you want, we're ready for you, Bhutan. Now you will die, Bradley. The tiger's claw has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Ambushed, will our friends Jungle Jim, Peter Hawkins, and their men escape, or will they be killed by Bhutan? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the Cats and Yammers, Skippy, Jiggs and Maggie, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, The Little King, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim.
Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper, a woo a hand clapper, a high-fiver? I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.